Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two right triangles, uh, triangle uh, ABC and this uh, another yellow right triangle uh, ACD put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, the side lengths of this uh, yellow triangle uh, AD and uh, CD are equal in length and moreover DE is the perpendicular and as a result this segment uh, AE is uh, 3 units whereas this segment uh, BE is uh, 7 units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle uh, ACD and we are not supposed to be using uh, calculators of any kind please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AED and now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words uh, the sum of these two angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees now in this uh, right triangle AED let's assume that this angle uh, is our angle alpha we know this is our 90 degree angle so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole angle is uh, 90 degrees and this angle is uh, beta so therefore uh, this remaining uh, angle is going to be our angle uh, alpha and now we are going to think uh, outside the box and we are going to draw some auxiliary lines as you can see in this uh, next step I have drawn this uh, right triangle uh, CFD by extending uh, this uh, line BC all the way to this point uh, F and then connecting uh, these points uh, D and uh, F and now let's focus on this uh, rectangle uh, EBFD we know this angle is 90 degrees this angle is 90 degrees uh, this angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 90 degrees as well and now let's make an observation in this rectangle EBFD this side length EB is going to be equal to this side DF if this side length is 7 units then this DF length has got to be 7 units as well and now we can see that this angle is our 90 degrees angle and this angle is uh, alpha so therefore this remaining angle has got to be our angle uh, beta and finally in this uh, right triangle uh, CFT this angle is beta this angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be our angle alpha so therefore we conclude that these uh, two right triangle uh, this right triangle uh, AED and this other right triangle uh, CFD are our congruent uh, triangles according to angle side angle congruency theorem since uh, this uh, side length uh, is equal to this uh, side length this is our angle beta and this is our angle alpha and likewise uh, this is our angle beta and this is our angle uh, alpha and now since these uh, two triangles are congruent uh, so therefore uh, this segment uh, AE is going to be equal to this segment uh, CF if this segment is 3 units uh, then this uh, CF is going to be 3 units as well and likewise uh, this uh, side uh, DF uh, is going to be equal to this uh, side uh, DE if this side length is a 7 then this side length uh, has got to be 7 as well so therefore we conclude that this uh, side uh, DE is 7 units and now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, AED and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem to calculate this uh, unknown side uh, AD and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and label this uh, longest leg as our side uh, c I'm gonna label this side uh, lowercase a and this our side uh, lowercase uh, b let's fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula a in our case is uh, 3 so this becomes 3 square plus b is uh, 7 square equal to 
c square. Let's simplify. This is going to give us 9 plus uh, 49 equal to c square. So therefore, c square turns out to be 58. Let me go ahead and undo this square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore, the square and square root is gone. So therefore, our length uh, c turns out to be square root of uh, 58. And now we can see c represents this uh, side length uh, ad. So therefore, our side ad length uh, turns out to be square root of uh, 58. And now we can see this uh, yellow triangle ACD is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, AD equal to this side length uh, CD. And we know this uh, side length uh, AD is a uh, square root of uh, 58. So therefore, uh, this other side uh, CD is going to be square root of uh, 58 units uh, as well. And here's our final step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow right triangle uh, ACD whose uh, side lengths are uh, square root of 58 uh, and this other side length is uh, square root of 58 uh, units uh, as well. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle uh, ACD. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. So therefore, we can see in this uh, yellow right triangle, uh, this side is uh, our base and this other side uh, is our height. So therefore, we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got 1 divided by 2 times uh, our base is uh, square root of uh, 58 and likewise uh, our height is uh, square root of uh, 58 uh, units uh, as well. And now we can see square root of 58 uh, times square root of 58 is going to be simply 58. So therefore we can write this thing as 1 divided by 2 times uh, 58. And if we simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, 29 uh, square uh, units. The area of this uh, yellow triangle. So therefore, after all the calculations and manipulations, the area of this uh, yellow triangle uh, ACD turns out to be 29 uh, square units. And that's our final uh, answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.